Hello everyone, I'm I for Scotland and we are about to continue our Hollow Knight playthrough. This is part 8. We're stuck in the Royal Waterways at the moment and um, I'm going to start playing immediately because there's like a weird squelchy sound in the background of the Royal Waterways and I hate it. So we're going to, we're just going to get stuck into it. Um, last time we had grabbed some pale ore which was pretty good and we upgraded our nail for the first time. Um, and we also took out a couple of bosses. We fought the um, the crystal dudes up in the crystal peaks, and we also went and fought um, the. It was the lost soul. Uh, was it the lost soul? Is the nah? That's not what his name is. We fought that one dude that defends the monarch wings. I really need to learn the name of these bosses. In fact, we'll look them up in the beastery at the moment. Where are we at? Our boss is even in. So yeah, it was the Crystal Guardian we beat, and then, yeah, it was Broken Vessel. It's Lost Kin that's the dream version of it, but we couldn't quite beat him because we were... I hate these enemies so much. All of their noises are so cursed. <laughs> cool. Right, so... Our goal is, we are aiming for Isma's Tear. That's my plan, at least. We're hitting Isma's Tear today, which means we'll be taking on Dung Defender, I think? Oh, we, don't, we actually haven't taken on Dung Defender yet, but I'm not sure if that's something that was an actual... We could probably also try and look at Fluke Warp Marm. Fluke Marm? Yeah. <clears throat> so, yes, we are cracking on with that. We also, oh yeah, we also picked up our Super Spirit Blast, which is pretty handy. So. I always end up getting lost in the Royal Waterways. They are quite um, busy, and you don't, the map for Cornifer is like miles away to the left. I don't know why I'm going right so much, but... Unlike my politics. <laughs> um, right, so. Fighting along these guys. Those guys are pretty straightforward to beat. These fucking flying bastards are the worst. Oh. Go away. Right, we, I think we're heading towards this must here at the moment. So that's good. Got some crystals there. Interesting. Ah, it's crystals there because it, you're supposed to use your super dash. That's clever, I like that. Can't believe I've not put that together before. And then you're to do it again. <laughs> Jump up here. I like that that blast actually does the... takes them both out. Is a lot stronger now. It can get even stronger if we use the right charm as well. Right, these guys. Oh no! Ah, deflated too quickly there. And of course, we've now got the monarch wings, so we can double jump to our heart's content, which is great. But yeah, I think we're making relatively good progress. This is part eight, so I have been playing for a wee bit now. Every video is kind of averaging around half an hour, so um, it is a little bit slower than what I um, what I originally play at. But to be fair, I'm allowed to take my time with this. This is a YouTube playthrough, so it's all well good on that front. Um, right, we are killing this guy. That room always feels like it should have more in it. To be honest, it probably does. I'm not sure if I'm wanting to go that way at the moment, because that takes us back up to the City of Tears, which I am not interested in just yet. Only those who prove their honour in combat may enter the Grove beyond. Ah, that's because we've not went and fought the fucking Dung Defender yet. Jesus, okay, right. At least that was there to signpost for us. Right, so I'm gonna, gonna jump out here. And 
and jump up the sewer and meet that one woman who hates us. Eternal Emilicia. Ah, what a surprise. It's not often I receive visitors. It's been so long. Ages even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. You're right to guess. I'm renowned amongst the upper caste of Hallownest. Well, I was once until those cretins cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around all mindless and empty. And I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. Hmm. Isn't life just wonderful? Let's see what she's thinking. No doubt this one will meet his dem demise at the nail of the city guards. I'll out of you too, little grub, as I did all the others. Well. Cool. Right, so what I will now do is... Not go this way. I need to go back to the Royal Waterways, so I'm going to take the... The slightly long way around, and then we'll get to we'll get to the dung defender. So the dung defenders are going for this, and Isma's tear directly after it. And we're picking up quite a lot of geo, which is positive, because we need we need loads, we need loads. Because um, eventually, I want to be able to upgrade the fragile strength to give me superpowers on the nail. We'll kill them. Uh, no! Fuck. No! No! Why? Oh, Jesus. I'm an idiot. Idiot. At least we're back to... We've fast travelled. That was actually deliberate. That was fine. So, when we... We'll just go up and grab our shade, because I do not want to lose any of that money, Jesus. And we don't have a map, so I'm just going to have to kind of wing- Oh, fuck! There's my shade there. Those little bastards. And there is one up there as well. Give me my money back. There we go. There's a... It's quite interesting. See the, the new Prince of Persia game that I've been playing on stream? It doesn't give you a chance to get your money back. Like, you don't lose all of it, but every time you die, you lose some of the, the currency that you have. And it's... It's weird that you, you don't get to, like, kind of claim it back in any way. It's just a punishment for death, which if you're playing on the hardest difficulty like me, it's, uh... Yeah. It's... I, I have no money, basically. I love the Dung Defender. I think he's a really good boss. Right, let's go. I also love the music. The music for the Dung Defender is just really cheery. It feels less that you're fighting any sort of, like, corruption. He's just a happy me guy that's f throwing poo at you. Oh, I thought I was being clever there. Should probably try and get a heal in. A little bit. Just stick close to him during this attack. There we go. I'll get some healing. I don't know how much health he normally has. Oh, fuck. So now we will be able to do the thing. 
So we punch that lever there. And that drains the that drains the stuff. And we can now Ah, the Dung Defender isn't actually here yet. Shit. We will, however, pick up that King's Idol, because that's, what, 800 Geos? So that's good. Maybe I need to wait a little bit? I was just going to see if I could try and take out the, the Dream version of the Dung Defender as well, because that would be useful. Maybe I have to wait on a bench, actually, before he spawns. Yeah, that might be it. Right, now there is a, like a speedrunning way to get to Isma's tier that I am going to attempt and fail at, but people who are a lot better than me at the game have been able to like there's like a really weird way that you can it's like you, you cling and you dash to like a fucking pixel there that was terrible i'm not okay this is not gonna work it's it's not i've already yeah it's not good i'm not good I, I, fucking hell okay right no behave fuck sake just overcomplicating things for no reason No. Wall. Yeah, there we go. Jesus. Right, so. Is there anything over there? No, there's not. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to go back up. Bravo! I remember the Monarch Wings used to be, like, I, maybe... I'm not sure if there's maybe I've just been playing another game recently that has way more control of the jump but the, like the jump feels really slow now when I, I remember the first time I played it I thought the jump was snappy as hell right okay so down down blast along here keep going I'll go that way yeah, I think this is the way we go, because we end up going all the way along here and then down. There we go. Nice. Down here, smack those guys. Oh, that was fucking close. And super blast. It takes us through there and brings us here, down, there, blast, up, up. Go that. Go there. Go there. Oh, fuck. And now that's completely drained, so we can then go in here. This way, not that way, we go down, oh. oh yeah shit we've got to fucking do this, oh no, oh Jesus, I feel like I tanked that entire fight just by getting that one healing and then swinging. Cool, so Isma's tier should just be over here. Nice. And that allows us to swim in acid, so that's handy. And there's a grub there. Drop 
here. Wait, hold on. There's another drop, isn't there? And we can just go out the left side. Yeah. Cool. So now we've got that, we can do more fun stuff. We can access new areas. It's a shame that we lose that geo because it falls in the acid. I mean, I'm, I don't recommend chasing any money into acids if you have the opportunity to chase money into acid. But I would still like it. I would like, I would like the geo, the hard end geo that we worked for. Right, your deeds, your deeds. Is there anything over this way? No, there is not. One, two. Mm. Cool. Jump along here. Wreck through this. Because we'll get, we'll go all the way along to the left now. We'll. We'll head along, we'll do the whole um fluke man thing. Oh fuck. Fuck I don't know why I'm so I'm being so like blase about fighting. I'm normally like way more cautious and good. Right, you're gonna get back up. Yeah. Yeah, no, we smashed down here. There we go. I never know if that counts as killing them or not. Like, does that count towards the Hunter's Journal if I don't, like, swipe them? Oh, fuck. That was cool. I feel like I should get bonus points because I tricked that one into... Oh my god! Because I tricked that one into blowing up everyone else. This is just disgusting. The whole maggot enemy thing, just vile. Seriously just disgusting. I have like a like here's some here's from here's some like I for Scotland lore and apologies in advance because it is pretty minging, right? But my my first ever encounter with like maggots was like uh my my mum was looking after like a friend of hers rabbit while they were away on holiday or something like that. And a like the rabbit, you know, we were, we were kind of given this rabbit and, you know, we said, you know, have a good holiday and all this kind of stuff. And then on like literally maybe half of the first day, we saw that the rabbit had like this really nasty like infection that had, I think it was maggots at the very least, but it had a really nasty infection and there was like maggot, like it was in a lot of pain and the maggots were like on it and my mum was like before before they, she could get like the vet information and stuff like that um she was like at, on like at a table and like picking them off the this rabbit and like it was just it was horrible 
And ever since then, I've found maggots disgusting. To be honest, I probably found maggots disgusting beforehand. They're pretty minging in general. But yeah, it was not a good experience. So that was probably the easiest boss in the game. But that was Flip Mom, and she's the the worst to look at. Uh, but she gives us a funky charm, so we're not gonna be too upset by it. And with that, we will now go back up here and through here. And I'm now learning that I have no fucking idea where I need to go. Because I am trying to figure out where the map is. I thought it was around here. I just need to go left. There I do. That's... Just need to go left. There you go. One, two, three. And there's Cornifer's delicious paper. Huh? It's just horrible. What a horrible concept for an enemy. Not that the enemy splits in half, that's cool, but it's just disgusting. <laughs> So, one, two... Holy shit, there's a lot of these. Not a bad amount of Geo, but yeah, there's a lot of those. I like how this is a combat room with, like, pretty much the tamest creatures possible. Okay, let's go. Cornifer, there you are, you mad bastard. Oh, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. Nice. Map acquired. Um, and we will jump through here, I think. Because this is the fungal wastes, and that's what we've opened. And we can now go and grab this. Normally I grab Dashmaster, like, way earlier, but I knew I was kind of be wrapping around. You always end up coming back here, so... And now we can climb, and we can do this, and we can get annoyed at those enemies that suck. Dash through here, dash through there, dash through there, dash through there. Nice little bit of the, the puzzle. Some platforming to prepare us for the path of pain at some point. And we'll encounter Britta, I believe. Please don't leave me behind. You forgot about me. I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face. You're so, so stunning. It's Bretta, not Bretta. Sorry, I've been watching Community recently. I'm sorry. I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I, I You came here to rescue me, Bretta, the girl that everyone just ignores. Oh, <laughs> sorry. When I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... Sorry. I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town, I mean. I better get home. Thank you. Let's see what she thinks. Shining figure, so bright. Fair enough. Knight in shining armour. No, I did not want to go this way. So... 
just thinking map wise what am I want to do here. Actually, it might make a little bit more sense to go up the way and then Mantis Village it. And then grab all of that stuff. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Because we'll grab we'll grab some essence as well, and then we'll go and grab Paylor, I believe. Depends on how much essence we have, actually. That's close. And we now get very polite uh, mantises. That is the plural of mantis, right? Yeah, so what we'll do, jump along here. Get my... And dash. I feel like the, the, man, the Mantis Village is so cool because it's like so... Like there's there's so much you can tell about the world of Hollow Nest from just the like the small contained village. Shit, I missed the thing. Don't. There we are. That's right, so we'll smack this and we will pick up that delicious essence. Which oh we're miles sorry, I thought we were closer to three hundred. That's dreadful. Okay. I mean to up our game a little bit. We haven't encountered many uh, mantises from the. No, sorry. We haven't received many essence from killing enemies. That's what I meant to say. Ah, yes, the fungal core is also a thing, which I've not done yet. So we'll do this. That rancid egg's already popped. That's interesting. Oh, fuck. See, I say that, and it, you know what? I've actually been manifesting a lot of things recently, right? For, like, whenever I've been, like, talking about, like, a game or whatever, and I've been like, oh, will there be a boss around this corner? Does this game have bosses? Stuff like that. And then a boss has immediately appeared. I should just be like, yep, there's going to be essence, like, more often, I'm going to gather it, whenever I kill an enemy, it'll be great. I should really just, I should do more of speaking things into existence. In which case, probably my first thing's going to be, I, I hope all of my friends have enough money to live, that would be good. Let's deal with this guy. Nice. We are getting a lot of Geo. Actually, we're getting so much Geo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a bank account. And I am going to give Mirabelle all of my delicious money. Because then we can reap the rewards. I don't know how many times the reward is, but it's it's good at least. This is made very difficult with the um, that little bastard. We're nearly at five thousand geo though, so that's good. Shit! How'd I get up there? Can I? Yeah, I can. Nice. Nice, 5,000 Geo.
Pale worm, what good to foresee a demise unavoidable. Great. I'm sure there was something else in the fungal core. Is this literally just a little... I thought you got a charm or something, do you not? What if I swim in your pool? Huh? Maybe that is all there is to it. Oh, wait, no. This is what you get at the end of it. Duh. We're back down in um, Deep Nest. And we've got a new bit of health, so that's good. Right. I'm not doing Deep Nest yet. I, I don't... I don't like it. <laughs> Now nah, I want to get slightly better equipped for Deep Nest. You can do Deep Nest actually relatively early on. I just, I don't know, I just like having a bit more stuff. It's dark and scary and I don't like it. That's basically it. Cool, so we will now jump up here and we'll go yeah, we'll work our way towards the Queen Station. That's where we're after. Up one. Up two. Ah, oh, get, oh, get fucked. Just keep moving. And then up we go. Then I think we're up here? Yeah, we are. I feel like I'm I'm taking like really easy hits of damage and then when I get into fights I've got like two health left. Being too uh being too silly about it. People do hitless stuff like this. God. Right, okay, time to go to the bank. Hate Fog Canyon. Everyone hates Fog Canyon. Right. Hello, Melabelle, if that is your real name. We will give you all of our money. Gio, Kalala. Oh no. Again, maybe I need to go to a bench, so I'll do that. Nice. So we filled out a whole bunch of the map there as well, so that's good. Yeah, that's handy. Right, okay, we'll now go back to see what Millibell's... I just, it's worth checking just in case, because there's no point in going to where she moves to if she hasn't left the bank, so... That arsehole has stolen my money! I want revenge. So what we will do now is call the stag. And we will travel to King's Station, I believe. We are getting we are getting our money back. I absolutely will not accept being robbed. Oh. 
Now, I just need to try and remember where actually she, um, like, where's the place she runs off to. Because I, I know roughly where it is, but I don't know exactly. There we go. Nice. They dropped 50, which is not bad. Right, it's, I'm pretty sure it's one of these places here. I don't think it's this one. I think this is the one that has all of the people in it. I think it's this. Songstress Marissa, a voice to ease all burdens and still all troubled minds. That's nice. Sorry, there's... There's always something here. Yeah. Can't help myself. I can't believe I missed that lift. Right, one... Yeah, that, oh, there's a chest there. This is actually the completely wrong way of doing it, isn't it? I should just go all the way up and then come down. That would make way more sense. Look at the amount of time it takes that lift to come down. Right, let's go. Hopefully there's no other chests. Mm. Yeah, we might be fine. Unless I've just missed one, but doesn't matter. Welcome to the Pleasure House. This is just really nice because the music for City of Tears is just wonderful. I love it. It's like been on a playlist of mine for ages. It's just really nice and calming. I don't know what it is. I feel like that's what was intended. We can listen. Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing, then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing. You'll be the first in an age to hear it. Yes. You can! You can! Dream Nailer. I am not going to do that. I like her music too much. Right, there you are, you little bastard. We are gonna do this for a wee while. We're getting all of that back. You literally beat your money back out of her. Yeah, this does go on for actually quite a wee while. Anyone see anyone seen any good TV recently? <laughs> but you should actually get a little bit more back than what you put in. As you can see, we're well over the There's that's better. That's fat away, that's way faster. Maybe I shouldn't have been pogoing. Yep, we're still going. And that's it. So even though we put in 4,500, we got 6,000, so we earned a wee bit more. Yeah, you don't need. Right. Get out of here. You don't belong in the pleasure house. I cast you out. Nice. So we can do that, and we can smash through there, and that takes us to a, this wonderful place, which is just above... Well, this is the lift. So if you want to jump from here, I don't think... I think we need to, like, go the long... Yeah, we do. We need to go the long way around, but eventually we'll be able to go here. Ideally, you don't blow yourself up in the process. 
they always leave behind a trail that I cannot help but run into like an idiot. Right, so blast our way back here. And just checking this. Hmm. I actually think we'll go up and then we'll go across Blue Lake. I think that's the sensible thing to do. Because I kind of want to weave my way to Dirtmouth and we can stop by Salubra and Salubra we can buy stuff from. So we've got the money now, which is good. Um, we'll still need like loads more. We, like You need a lot for the whole game, but I think with 7,500 for... We're not too bad. We'll be able to get quite a lot of stuff from Salubra. I'll get like the... I'll get the important stuff from Salubra. I won't... Even though we are aiming for like all the charms and stuff like that, I'm not going to go and buy stuff that I don't necessarily use until we are wrapping things up. But I've got to be well to do go before then, so... Because I think it costs like 12,000 Geo to like make sure that Fragile Strength doesn't break. Oh, there's Tiso. Yeah, what a camp place. It's action I want. Vicious and deadly battle. The serenity is a bore. That place calls to me somewhere beyond this lake, perhaps. So peaceful, so dull. Great. Nothing wrong with putting your feet up for a bit. Right, shop time. Hello, Salubra. So, yeah, there's a ton of stuff here. Ah, we need to get more charms in order to unlock the charm notches. That's devastating. Right, okay, so we will buy some of the other stuff. We'll buy Long Nail, which does stack with the Mark of Pride, but we'll buy that charm notch because that's good. We need seven more charms to get that charm notch, so I'm not I'm not gonna try and buy them. We'll find other charms on our journey and it'll be good. Um that means that Thorns of Agony can come off because I do not care about it at all. Um It's actually kind of annoying. We could take long nail actually. Our stackable long nail. We could hit people from miles away. It's either that or Nah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take Dash Master instead. Dash Master's good fun. Just because we'll be able to dash a little bit more. And you'll see that the crossroads are now infected. Oh dear god! I thought I had a blast there, but I didn't. I don't like infected crossroads because it makes me sad. So, what we will do... Do you, do you think we're... I know I'm going on a little bit longer than normal, but I might actually try and fight, um, thingy. Because I feel like I've got the double jump now, so I'm, in, I'm unstoppable. Don't grab all that. Man, things are really fucked here, aren't they? Oh, shit. There's also this, which I think takes us to a charm, so we're gonna grab that. And jump along here. Jump. Grab that. Yeah, this takes us to, uh... This takes us to something. Takes us to a combat arena first, which is like, uh... Okay, you're dead. Okay. Not off to a great start. <laughs> right, kill that. Kill that. Get some healing in. Cool. 
Oh, I thought we were done. Oh no. Fucking hell, why am I doing so bad? Underestimated these little infected guys. Cool, that's us done this combat room. Nice. And we'll grab this. The glowing womb. Breed. Breed. The little succubus in my ear that controls everything that I do. Okay, we are back down here. Right, I am I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. This will be a slightly longer video, so we'll see. Oh fuck! We'll see how that goes. I, th I think we can be we can beat him. We've got a little bit more payload. To be honest, we've not got tons of health going into this fight, but ah, he'll be fine. I mean, I'll die. Oh no, it actually restores it upon enter. That's cool. Go down. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Have I like missed it? Ah, oh, the arena's like in the middle, isn't it? Fuck, it is. There we go, it's here. Right. Fuck. Oh god, off to a great start. Off to a tremendous start. Doing a lot better than I was the first time I found. How was I like? Jesus, how am I not getting? Like I'm not even getting them down once. I feel like I'm hitting them quite a lot though. Maybe I need to up my game a little bit. I'll be fine. Yeah, that's the entrance, so we just go in here, turn round, immediately get some hits in, avoid. I should actually focus more on maybe avoiding them. Oh my god! Fuck's sake. That is fucking punishing, man. Ugh. I have done this before. I've done I've done this very easily before. I promise. <laughs> I definitely have. In fact, on this channel, I think there's another uh, there's another uh, video of me doing it during the the stream, the charity stream. That catches me every fucking time. Every fucking time. Holy shit. I, I'm down to... Okay. I, I can do this. I can do this. What the fuck am I doing? Right. Okay, so. Take my time, don't get hit. That's the rules. One, two. <sighs> Maybe it's just I don't get greedy, he says as he gets fucking whacked. Okay. 
Okay. Fuck, that fucking massive jump. The one that does two damage is brutal. Because it catches me, you know, that catches me twice, I'm fucked. And then there's the odd rock or whatever that kills me. I don't remember needing to, like, upgrade my, my knife beyond, like, the first upgrade to beat him. Ah, I should have dashed through there. I should have fucking not got greedy again. There we go. Dashed into him at that point. Okay, so the, the telegraph for the big jump is pretty clear. I just need to not fuck up. At least we get to retry pretty quickly rather than running from like a bench. Right, go, 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 jump, go, 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 jump. Ah, fucking dash wasn't long enough. Oh, oh what? I thought I, I thought I'd worked out his rhythm entirely there. It didn't work. Instead, I dashed into disaster. Fuck's sake, man. I got way more hits on him there than I normally do, and that still wasn't enough to break his, his guard, which is like, hmm. Maybe, I, I don't know what my nail damage is at this point, because from us, that's perspective. I don't, I don't have any fucking soul anyway to use spells, so... That. One... Ah, you fucking menace! Right, big strike, dash through. Fuck, no! Ah, oh, got way too greedy there. However, however. So this is a way that you can get your health back. So you can just uh, dream nail him, hit him that does no damage, get the healing, hit him, get the dream nail, miss with the dream nail because you're an idiot, hit there, and then, oh fuck. Oh no, he does the thing. I forgot he does the thing. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Miss. One, two, three. Oh. Dodge. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, stop being an asshole. What the fuck, man? And again, one, two, get a heal, hit, get a heal. This is probably the cheesy way of doing it, but I am fine with that actually. One. Two, get the healing, get one more, I mean to be fair I should maybe, 
I should maybe just get more soul as well. Not that I'm going to heal during the fight, but I might want it for spells, so I'll do that. This is the this is the run. This is it. I'm going to be a champion by the end of this. If I can get full health, yeah. There we go. Or full spirit, even. Soul. Okay, let's go. He's going to do his angry thing. We're going to hit some stuff towards him. Oh no, this is not good. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. Nope, this isn't good. Go. Okay, we didn't lose as much health that time. So we're nearly there. We're nearly there. And one heal. You know, I like I never really want to risk like trying to fit in two unless I had the quick heal charm. I probably wouldn't want to try and fit in two. Having the spells definitely helped though. Um, so I'm gonna do that again. Okay, he's gonna do his little angry smack. There we go. See, I told you I could do it. You didn't. You didn't believe me. I heard you. I wanted it, the strength to protect the others, when I saw the knight sleeping safe in his big armor shell. It wasn't madness that drove me to it, I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? Well. Cool, so we just got a shitload of essence, more than enough to get the payload from the seer, which we'll grab next time. However, for... I can't even go this way. Devastating. That was cool. Right, so I'll go... I kind of want to go back to Dartmouth anyway, so I'll head that way, and then we will wrap this end of the... the playthrough up. It was quite a long part. We're coming up for an hour now. But it was very Moorish, I've got to say. your deeds and jump up here I always forget how absolutely fucked the crossroads ends up being after uh, it gets infected I kind of wish that more areas of the game was like that just from a part of me actually wishes that if an area of the world was to change, like the way the infected crossroads does, you could have got like a new power that um, that allowed you to navigate it. It'd be nice to find something that like, oh fuck, there's so many fucking enemies here. Okay, nearly there. I was going to stop by the Grub Dad. Oh shit, I forgot all about these. Oh no, I need to heal so bad. I need to heal so bad, why was I not healing there? Come on. Yeah, I definitely need uh, another uh, nail upgrade because it's kind of murder trying to fight these guys. Grub Dad will give us some more coins, which is nice. I wonder if we'll maybe get a... something else? He dropped something. Maybe like a... Maybe something we can sell. Cool. 
Right, so we've got grand from that, and we got a rancid egg. Fantastic. The essentials. Cool. So... Oh, fuck. Oh my god, home stretch to fucking thingy can be... Let me get there, please. Yeah, there's also a reason why I like to avoid the uh, <laughs> infected crossroads as well. It's a nightmare. So that's a uh, Brett's house. That's now open. So we'll just go and quickly grab that mass shard. Inspect that, the white saviour, blah blah blah. I'll actually come back and read that, I promise. Oh. And we will rest. And our map's updated. Righty, thanks very much folks for joining me for that one. Uh, that was good fun. And it was a wee bit longer than normal, but let me know what you think about the length. Because uh, uh, could obviously do longer stints. Um, there just didn't seem to be as natural a break point during that as the, as the other parts. But we got quite a bit done, and we'll head to the Seer next time. Um, we'll probably look more on the King Station on the right side of the map as well. Um, we got his must here, so all positive on that front. But anyway, I will let you watch the next part or get on with the rest of your day. Catch you in a bit, folks. Bye-bye.